my name is Jacqueline, also known as Brooklyn Knit Folk here on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to thread your sewing machine. So if you're just getting started with sewing, or if you've dusted off your sewing machine for the first time in a few years, and you just can't remember how, this tutorial is for you. First, insert your thread onto the thread holder with the thread coming from the back of the spool. Your machine might be a little bit different, so you can always refer to your owner's manual for your machine to figure out how to thread it, but I will show you this one because they're basically all the same. So you're going to take the thread from the back of the spool, pull it over to this little lip edge right here, and front it to the left side of it. And you're going to go down, and then this right here is where it might be different from machine to machine. Mine is metal, sometimes they're plastic, but you're just going to run it from the right side underneath it up on the left side and then this little kind of lever right here is called the take up lever it needs to be in its fullest utmost position in order to be able to thread it from one side to the other if it's down in the machine you can always hand turn the crank wheel see so if it's down here that won't work you need it to be like all the way up at the top you can use the hand wheel to turn it so you're going to take your thread and go from the right side around to, oop, to the left side and then bring it back down and from there you pull the thread down and then you need to secure it over this ledge sometimes it's on the left sometimes it's on the right to get it in mine is on the left here and then you will thread the needle Pull about four or five inches out, secure it under the presser foot, and now we're ready to thread the bobbin. Next, we need to thread the bobbin through the bobbin chamber. So first, we need to open the front door of the bobbin chamber. You could do this if you have nails right here, but I do not have nails, so I'll just have to use a little pair of scissors to prop that open. Now, my bobbin holder casing is currently not in the machine. I'll show you how to take it out and put it back in in just a second. You'll place a filled bobbin into the bobbin holder. So you push it in like so. Then you will take a thread coming from the bobbin and there is a little lip right here. You're going to pull the thread through here under this metal piece and then out through the window right here. So I'll show you how to do it. Pull the thread through the lip under the piece through the window. It's as simple as that. And if you want to take it out, all you literally do is just pull it out. So I'll show you one more time. Stick it in. Pull the thread up into that lip underneath and into the window. I'm shining a light in here so you can more easily see it, but there is right here, this little notch right here where this is meant to fit into it. And it will not go in there if you don't pull the latch open while you do it. So I'll show you what happens if I don't. So I've pushed it, I've pushed it in there, but I can easily pull this back out. Do you see? It will only lock in there if you pull this latch open, push it in, and then release it. Now it is in there all solid. I cannot take this out unless I pull the latch to then pull it out. And it's the same for getting it in and out. So you'll pull this latch open, stick that little metal piece up into the um, open area where it's designed to go into. The latch is open release the latch and now it is secure into the bobbin chamber. The last thing you need to do is to get this bobbin thread up through the bobbin chamber up to the top of the plate. So to do that you'll need to turn your machine on, then push your foot onto the presser pedal to drop the needle down into the bobbin chamber and come back up just one time. Then you'll pull your top thread from your needle which is already threaded and you can see there's a little loop right here it's pulled the bobbin thread up from the chamber and I just use something like a pencil or a pair of scissors to pull it out and that is your threaded machine you're ready to sew 
And there you have it. I hope this video was useful for you. If you found it helpful, please like the video down below because it helps other people find it. And you can subscribe to get any regular updates from this channel. I'm also very active over on Instagram and my Instagram handle is at Jacqueline Salem. If you'd like to see more, there are other videos on this YouTube channel and you can also support me over on Patreon at Jacqueline Salem. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye.